Hello, this is Victoria. Let's talk about oil transformer and dry type transformer cooling method today. For oil transformer, we have two cooling methods. One is natural cooling, ONAN. This method mainly relies on the radiation of the tank wall and radiates, as well as the natural convection heat dispersion of the air around the transformer. When the temperature of the transformer rises above the temperature of the surrounding air, the hot air will naturally escape and be replaced by cold air. This method is mainly used for smaller capacity transformer within 30 MVA. 2. Forced air cooling, OFAF. When the capacity of the transformer increases, the natural air convection is not sufficient to meet the cooling requirements. Forced air cooling can be used. This method cools the transformer by pressurizing air in the transformer and is usually used for transformer larger than 30 MVA. For dry type transformer, there are two cooling methods too. One is natural cooling, similar to the natural cooling of the oil transformer. Dry type transformer are cooled in this way, relying mainly on the natural convection of the air around the transformer to dissipate heat. Second, forced air cooling, when the capacity of the dry type transformer increases or a higher cooling efficient is required, forced air cooling can also be used. This way of cooling through pressurizing air in the transformer to improve the cooling effect. In summary, the cooling method of the oil and the dry type transformer are similar in principle, but the specific realization may vary depending on the type and the capacity of the transformer. In practical application, it is natural necessary to choose the appropriate cooling method according to the specific needs and the conditions of the transformer. For more information, please follow us. See you in next video.